Michigan's Mo Wagner announced his decision quickly, but not without deep reflection. After three years as a Wolverine, he's decided to move on and make himself eligible for the 2018 NBA draft. But this is not just a basketball decision. It's more a gut feeling than anything else, I think. All the calculations, all the risks and all that stuff, uh, I didn't really worry about that too much. It was more a gut feeling about uh, me feeling ready. Wagner wants the three. Bring it up! Wagner for three. Oh -ho! It's time to kind of, you know, grow up. It's, it's time to make the next step in my life. And it doesn't have anything to do with money or all that stuff. That, that's nothing I have to worry about. It's more about making the right next step in my life. What's the hardest aspect of this decision? Leaving Michigan. I, I really like it here. I really like this spot, um, the people around, the family feeling. and I feel, really feel comfortable here. Wagner helped the Maize and Blue grab two Big Ten tournament championships. It's good to know that you came to a place and with great people achieved something very special uh, within a short time. You know, that's, that's something uh, that makes me very proud and um, happy to be part of such an amazing group. But says the memories go far beyond those two magical moments. Cutting nets and all this confettis. It's amazing getting the hats and the shirts. You can get used to that. Um, but I think mean, just the time we spend in the locker room, people that, that outside this building don't really see that. The time you spend together on a daily basis is so much more valuable uh, than just simply winning games. Coming from Germany, his arrival here was unique, and he says he never placed expectations on what the experience would be. Just came in here with the, with the mentality of work every day, and we see what happens. And if I, if I wouldn't written a dream down, I obviously... This, this comes really, really close to it. From the first day he stepped on campus, people projected Moe's game at the next level. He projected himself onto the people here at Chrysler in a way few have ever done. Wagner for three. Yes, sir. Wagner straightaway three. Give me that. His energy, presence, and zest for life will not be forgotten this year, next year, or anytime soon. Fans flock to him. Maybe then they like me being crazy. Uh, sometimes I, I wish I could keep that back a little bit and I obviously worked on that to stay emotionally solid. And I mean, I love them um, just as much as they, they, they love me. They always thank me and I have to thank them because they allowed me to play in front of the stage to do, me, to do what I love to do in front of them. How has playing for Coach Beeline prepared you for the next step in your life, the next phase, but not necessarily just on the court? Yeah, Coach Bian is not only a coach, he's obviously a teacher and he makes you, from a, from a little kid, he kind of uh, makes you into a man, a grown man. So I've talked to people that aren't, or like my friends that are in the NBA now, and they said, you, you're going to be surprised how, surpri uh, how prepared you already are from just what you've experienced the last three years. So um, I feel very good and obviously Coach Bian has a, has a huge part of this. Mo will wrap up the semester next week and then spend the next two months getting ready for the NBA draft. He says he'll finish his degree by taking online courses. His greatest test, though, will be adjusting to life in the NBA. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Ed Kingerski.